guys, it's Adrian from Kids Can Win Gate. I hope you guys are doing okay during this two week break. Hope you guys are keeping up with your hygiene as well. Don't wanna get sick. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a strawberry banana smoothie. You're gonna need a blender. It can be any blender of your preference. I'm just using a Nutribullet blender. You need one banana and about six strawberries. I already washed my strawberries and took the leaves off. You also don't need to cut the strawberries. I just blend them like this and make sure you wash your hands it's important before you start so i'm gonna put the strawberries in first i'm actually not going to use the whole entire banana i'm just going to use about half of it and i don't use a knife i i just freehand it so. so the milk that i'm using is trader joe's whole milk you can use whatever milk you prefer and it makes the smoothie taste more you know smooth I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this in there. So I put about this much milk in there. I don't use yogurt. You can also use yogurt if you want to. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and this blender is really loud. So I hope you guys do not have your volume all the way up, but I'm gonna place this in, cover your ears. I'm gonna press down, twist it and get blending. I turn it off about after like 10 seconds has gone by since I started blending it and I keep pressing the pulse button until I think everything's smooth. Okay, so the reason why I blend so much is to make sure that everything is not chunky and everything is blended correctly and evenly and that's it. I'm ready to drink it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Hopefully you enjoy the smoothies. I guarantee you will and have a good break. See you guys soon. Hi guys, with everything going on, it is more important than ever to work together. Part of working together means minimizing the amount of germs that we spread to those around us. A great way to minimize those germs is by washing your hands. Now I know washing your hands isn't the most fun, but I'm gonna show you guys a short demonstration on why washing your hands is so effective. For this activity, you're gonna need a paper plate, black pepper, a cup of water, and hand soap. First, you start off by pouring some of your water into your paper plate like this. Make sure you do it slowly so none splashes anywhere. All right, now you sprinkle your black pepper around your paper plate. All right, let's see what happens to the black peppers or the germs when I just dip my finger in with no soap, nothing. All right. Hmm. As you can see, I've got a decent amount of black pepper flakes on my fingers. Now wipe off the black peppers. Let's see what happens when we try it with soap. You don't need too much soap, just one little pump will do. Now dip your soapy finger into the black pepper. Wow, you see that? The black pepper germs are repelled by the soap. This is why it is so important to wash your hands. Soap acts as a protective barrier against those germs, making sure that you and those around you remain safe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you and your families are all staying safe. Hi guys, this is Jada from Kids Co. Wingate. I hope you guys are all keeping up with your hygiene, like washing your hands frequently throughout the whole day. And I know being at home may not be the funnest option right now. So I put together a couple origamis that you guys can do at home with your families. And I hope you're enjoying spending time with your family right now. Hi guys, so the first origami I'm going to make with you guys is a hat. 
So you just need to grab a piece of paper. It doesn't need to be origami paper. It can be printer paper, line paper, or even construction paper. Your first step is to fold it hamburger style like this. Then fold it another time hamburger style. It should then look like this. What you want to do is then open it up and then take one of the top corners and fold it down into the middle where the line is where you made your crease. Now it should look like this. You're going to want to do the same thing to the other side. Now it looks like this. And then now you have two flags at the bottom. Take this flag and fold it over the triangles that you have. Do the same thing with your back part, but don't fold it frontwards, fold it backwards. So this is what it looks like, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold in the corners. So. What you want to do is take one corner, fold it inwards like this. Then the outwards corner, fold it over the inwards one so it stays in. Then do the same thing with the other side. And there's your hat. All right guys, the second origami I'm gonna show you how to make is a dog. So what I did was I cut my rectangle paper into a square so it makes it easier to fold the origami. What you're gonna do is first, you're gonna fold it into a triangle like this. Once you do that, open it back up. And the other side that you didn't fold yet, Take this corner and fold it into a triangle again. Alright, once you do that, this is what you're going to do. Take one of these corners and fold it inwards. Not all the way to your middle crease. Just about halfway like this. Then do the same thing with the other side. Now, you could leave it in this shape if you want your dog's head shape like this. But what I did was I took this corner and folded it in. And did the same thing with the other corner. So now it looks like this. And then what you're going to want to do is open it up like under here and fold this part, not all the way up, just a little bit. Right about here, just so you can give your dog an open and closed mouth. So again, here's mine that I did. Now you guys can feel free to decorate it however you like. Hi guys, the last origami I'm going to show you how to make is a heart. Hope you guys all like it. So your first step, you're gonna have to cut your paper into a square. It'll make it a lot easier to fold the origami. Now your first step is to fold it into a triangle like this. Then you're gonna open it up and do the same thing on the other side. Fold it triangle like this. Then once you open it up, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your corners and you're going to fold it to the middle like this. Then 
for the bottom corner. You're gonna take your bottom corner. You're not gonna fold it into the middle like this one. You're gonna fold it above it onto the top like this. So now it should look like this. Now this part might be a little tricky. What you wanna do now is you're gonna take your top corner and you're gonna fold it like this. So it gives you this shape. Then do the same thing on the other side. Now it should look like this. If you give it that round shape, you're gonna fold these pointy parts backwards. And these little side pieces, you're gonna fold these backwards as well. And there's your heart. Hi guys, so these are the origami figures I made in today's video. If you guys ever wanna make any more origami figures, please feel free to look it up online at home. I hope right now you guys are all enjoying the time you're spending with your family. And also you're doing your very best by staying clean and washing your hands. And please guys, please remember to always wash your hands. And I hope to see you all very soon.